Hi everybody from a gorgeous day in Skyrim. I'm at Lakeside Rift and Manor today. I've ha I videoed this home a long time ago and I missed a bit. It's super beautiful and I remember one of my viewers, Cynic, um, mentioning this to me and oh, she really never steers me wrong with her recommendations and this one I'd forgotten how lovely it is. We're just outside of Rift and there's the gate over there behind that tree. So I'll just show you which side we're on. We're over here the easiest way to get there is actually to come into town and then just pop out the uh, other gate. And what a location. It's stunning. I've videoed a couple of Johnny Quest's homes already. Devaith Manor, for example, and they are so nice. He has a distinctive style. So if you like one, you're pretty much going to like all of them. This one is, is quite substantial. Outside you've got some soils. I haven't nipped over to Bruma yet, so I've got none of my exotic plants. And when you get here, there are a couple of house um, keys stashed away. One here in this knapsack, along with all this other good stuff. So that is helpful. And you can just worship Oriel and get a bit of <laughs> uh, absolution. Check him out on his little mat. And I love these pots. So nice. Ignore the big blood stain, I'll get to that. So as you can see, I've planted up an apple tree and a couple of vanilla plants. I haven't got my um, a Khajiit Rito Kalshan installed yet. You know my plantable mod that Kryman made? Because he's uh, working on a new one, so... I thought I would leave off that for the moment until he brings it to SE. So gorgeous stables. So yeah, I'm a bit bereft on plants right now and plant mods. I've always got menthers though, so I can use that for conjuration in the meantime. How beautiful is this? And look, you can stop the splashes if you want to outdoor oven and a smelter out here targets just lovely okay so wood chopping block smelter and the poor dude Roland himself so this is also known as Roland's Manor you may have seen it referred to as that elsewhere so he's got um, on him he will have a house key also and a book about the house so don't worry, he doesn't have to stay there the whole time. So there's the bill of sale, key in the knapsack and the home guide. Yes, yeah, sorry, not on him, in this knapsack. And more good things. So it's a really sweet stone cottage. I really like it. I love the outside. In it goes indoors already. As you see. And this is your kitchen come dining room. You can bury the mage. You have now buried Roland and I'll show you what that looks like outside at the end. So there's a couple of large trophy bases and there's also a couple of small ones in this home. Really nice dining table, all this static decoration. Inigo is making full use of the place. another shrine there you can turn your fireplace on or off how nice to come home you can pick up that shield and the swords so it's got some useful things and even though it's that solitude stone which is probably my least favorite building material nevertheless this house looks cozy doesn't it look at the darling little baskets of flowers they are so cute And then from here you've got your workroom, which is really beautifully laid out. And uh, there is storage, name storage for everything, which is awesome because it looks like what it is. So you don't have to go searching for things. Staff enchanter and heartstone container, somewhere for your staves. Beautiful. Try and stick to 
one floor at a time. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, outside in the knapsack, there was a whole bunch of um, planting materials, lots and lots of seeds. So this room, follower room, and it's nice. And if you don't want that, you can change it. So you can have a couple of kids in here. <laughs> that plushy though, oh my god. So nice. What do you think? So there's one of the small trophy bases. Weapon racks. We'll go upstairs first. More weapon racks. It's going to look so nice, this house, I think, once you've started filling it up. Made it a bit more your own. Loads of bookcases. Personally, I prefer bookshelves that have actually got some ornamentation on them already because you know what it's like. You put 11 or 18 or whatever books on the shelf, they all fall over. They never look neat. And I would prefer it if there was, you know, other bits of decoration and you could put your books around it. But that's just me. So there's special storage for all sorts of things. And in this knapsack, check it out. All the ingredients you need to make your trophy bases, which is so nice. And the display cases work. And some mannequins. Somewhere for your paragons. Wow. Oh, the elven stuff is so pretty, isn't it? So, journal storage, scroll storage. Everything's so appropriate, don't you think? So again, you can have two more followers in here or you can change it to a kid's room. This is quite tiresome in an interesting way. <laughs> I wonder what he's up to. So you can have your kids right next door if you want them. Look at this decoration, this is so nice. And I really like the bed. You can change the bed if this is a bit too frou-frou for you. Um, there's a button. So you can just make it, you know, a normal bed if you want. <laughs> Lying on my backpack, that seems so uncomfortable. This backpack, by the way, which I have been asked about many times and I couldn't remember where on earth it came from because I couldn't recall installing a specific mod. It's craftable um, and it's come from Legacy of the Dragonborn, I think. So I'll put the bed back to the way that it was. I quite like that cover and there's also the home teleport spell there. Oh, and you can change the banners too. Not a great range, to be honest, but, you know. It is, um, I think he said Dawn Guard or Thieves Guild, so. Hence the choice of banners. Okay, so that's your top floor. Look at that picture, isn't that lovely? So nice. There's some real nice touches in this place, and even more so in the basement, I think. Oh yeah, and one weird thing, it didn't sit well with me when I first came into this house, and I'd completely forgotten about it, and that is that there is um, a person here, a vendor, who actually lives in the basement. <laughs> it's a bit strange. There she is. Hi, Ingrid. Take a look. 
Okay, so she's got some useful things and she's got four and a half thousand gold, so that is dead handy. I'd better get going. <laughs> okay. And as you can see, really nice smithy. Again with the bags of storage. And then I just, I don't know what's happened here. I don't remember this happening last time. So it could be that I've got a mod clashing, um, but the bases for these uh, masks are just, just gone completely. Actually, I might have a little tinker. Spouse chest. Whoa, look at all that. Cool. Oh, wow, that is so helpful. Thank you, Johnny Quest 101. That is just what I need right now. I'm going to actually go away and have a little tinker because I think I might have a little mod conflict. So hold that thought for a second. Well, would you look at that? So either vanilla table replaces or Skyrim 3D furniture. I've just disabled those two. I was just trying them out on the rec recommendation of a friend and I have actually really enjoyed them both. Um, but as you can see, there's a bit of a conflict there. So now it's all as it should be. Excellent. So display cases and mannequins. And then here's your followers room. Uh, if you weren't using the others upstairs and you were using them for four kids, you could still have two followers down here. And this room is static, so you can't change this one. And then you have this gorgeous bathroom. I could probably use a bit more ivy in here, but that's probably just me. So you can turn your splashes on and off. Oh, and also in the bedroom, by the way, you can determine um, by a toggle there whether you want um, uh, auto stripping or not. And I forgot to show you. <laughs> Walk right past it. This. How cool is that? So many destinations. Very handy. That is so useful when a home includes a bit of fast travel, don't you think? Okay, so finally in the home round here. You know, I don't think that I even realised that they were there the last time I was at this house. So here's your merchant's bedroom. And then I can hear Inigo doing alchemy upstairs. And then you've got this little room in here. More shrines. And my... Oh, hey. Thank you. <laughs> my burial urn, yikes. Bits and pieces and somewhere to store your black books. And a few more weapon racks. It's very handsome decoration, I like it a lot. So that's pretty much it for the inside of the home. We'll just check that the um, mage, poor old Roland, has actually gone. I'm assuming that he will have, he certainly did the last time. He's a busy fella. Mm, that's a gorgeous day. Okay, cool. All oh, right, so the, even the blood stains are gone. Check that out. And there's his urn. Here lies Roland. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> and his stuff has been moved into the urn. That's really useful. So, what do you think about this place? I really like it a lot. I think it's got some really nifty features. There's the satchel with all the seeds in. Whoa, that is so handy. Okay, I'm going to leave you with the view of the home and call that the end of this wee video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do let me know what you think about it in the comments and I will see you soon for the next one. Take care and stay safe, everybody.